Hi there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Regina and today's video is all about blueberries. It's starting to warm up here in North Texas. Well, actually it's been warm and then it's gotten cold and now it's warm again, but my blueberries are coming out of dormancy. So what I'm gonna do with them today is I have a couple that I'm gonna pot up into bigger pots. And so I wanna show you guys that process. And then all of them, I'm gonna do their first application of fertilizer for the year. So stay tuned and we'll get that going. So I have seven blueberry plants and right now they are all in containers and I plan to keep them there. And that's so that I can maintain the soil acidity that they need in order to thrive and produce lots of berries for me. So a couple of my blueberry plants I bought last summer just on clearance at Home Improvement Store. I saw them, they already had some very tiny berries on them. So I was like, you know what, why not? Hi guys, this is Regina, the editor speaking. <laughs> I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer. Something that I've learned is that the big box stores and even nurseries may or may not have the plants that are perfect for you. I got lucky and the blueberries that I found on clearance actually did grow well in my environment, but I have actually seen some at a big box retailer that were on sale or that they just had for sale and I googled the variety and they didn't even grow well in North Texas where I live. So just a disclaimer, I recommend that you, if you see something there for sale at your local big box store, or even at a nursery, take a minute, do a quick Google search and make sure that that variety does well in your, in your climate because it might do well during the summer, but then it might get too cold for it or it may not get cold enough for that specific type of plant. So just a heads up and a disclaimer there, make sure that you do that before you purchase anything because those stores don't necessarily sell what grows well in your area they sell what will sell well in your area, whether or not it's appropriate for the climate. All right, back to the video. And they did great last year. They grew, they, the berries ripened, they were delicious. So I decided I was gonna grow some blueberries. So since then, I of course got a pollinator for the two that I had because they're, they were rabbit eye powder blue blueberries. And in researching them, I realized they needed a pollinator for the next season. Remember when I got them, they already had some blueberries on them, so they'd already been somewhere with a, and with a pollinator. Actually, a pollinizer is what we call them. So I got a premier bush, this one right here, for them as a pollinizer. And then I wanted to get a few more blueberry plants just because I think if it's worth growing, it's worth growing a decent amount of, right? My kids love blueberries. I love blueberries, so we might as well grow a ton. And so over the winter, I purchased a few more blueberry plants. I got a well, a few different varieties. I have two Titans. These are supposed to, these are also rabbit eye plants. They're supposed to produce really, really big blueberries, supposedly the size of a quarter in diameter. So I'm excited about those. And then I have a Vernon blueberry and then two other ones. I'll show you those in just a bit. So with my two powder blue, these, I'll hold up one of them. These are the ones that I'm gonna pot up. Right now they're in a planter that I wanna say is about I don't know, maybe about 12 inches across at the top. Um, so that's a little bit small. They did okay in these for, for last season because they were in a much smaller pot. So I was already potting them up, but I wanna go ahead and get them in a larger container where that they can stay in for a decent amount of time. So one thing that people often ask about growing blueberries is can you grow them in fabric pots? I personally don't recommend it. I love fabric pots. I use them, used some last year to grow several different like um, annual vegetables in, but I don't recommend them for anything perennial because roots sometimes will grow through the fabric and it makes it almost impossible to remove them if you wanted to, let's say you just wanted to refresh the soil after a few seasons or you wanted to move them to a bigger container, growing them in fabric makes that really hard. So I recommend fabric pots just for growing things that are annual or things you will never have to move. Um, but otherwise I don't recommend them for something that is perennial that's gonna stay there for a few years. So to pot them up, I actually have some other planters that are a bit larger that I actually used last year whenever I first potted my blackberries that are now planted in a raised bed. So once I removed my blackberries from those, I knew I could use them for my two blueberry plants that need to be potted up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pot up those blueberries. So to pot up my blueberries, first thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of soil to the containers. These are the containers I'm potting them up to. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure what size they are. I just know they are quite a bit bigger than these. 
So the soil mixture I'm using, it's actually peat moss, vermiculite, and it is, and mix in is some potting soil. I actually use, mix this up with the rest of what I had after I first planted my summer garden seeds indoors. I mixed in some potty mix and I used that as I was um, dividing and um, up planting some house plants. And so this is what's left from that. And since blueberries love acid and I know peat moss can be on the acidic side, so I figured this would be perfect. Plus I do have some, you know, soil acidifier and it's already, there's already been some applied to these plants multiple times. So I'm sure they're okay. So since I have this mix, I'm gonna use it. It's already pre-moistened. Not obviously not filling this because they're, the planter already has some soil in it and I'm not gonna dump that out. So I'm just gonna add some to the bottom and these do already have holes in them. Like I mentioned, these planters, they were used for my blackberries. So I'm just estimating about the amount of soil I need because when I place this plant in there, I want it to be, I want the top of the plant to be right, you know, at about this level. But the top at the rim, the, whoa, <laughs> the bottom of the rim before the lip widens on the plant. So let me see. Yeah, that looks about right. Need a little more. Bit just to loosen it up. I don't want to damage it. And I'm just pulling on it just to see if it's loose. So I used the stem to just kind of support it a little bit. Now I'm holding top, y'all. Oh, <laughs> there's earthworms in there. They will find a way, won't they? Love it. Okay, so now it's in here. To be gentle, I don't wanna hurt his roots or anything. All right, now my plant is in the soil. See that? So now my plants are up planted. The next step is to add the fertilizer. And I'm gonna do this for all of my blueberry plants. Y'all need fertilizer now, they're all starting to wake up. And I'm not a big measurer, but I do like to read <laughs> the back of the bag just to make sure. Okay. 
Okay, so it says to add it says to add two tablespoons for every gallon. I don't know how many gallons this is, y'all. I have no idea. I know it's a 16 inch planter, but I don't know how many gallons that means. Maybe I should ask the internet. Okay, so I consulted the interwebs and I got some gloves because I don't want to touch this fertilizer with my hands. But um, it turns out a 16 inch container is about 10 gallons. And look at me, y'all. I got some measuring thingies because I actually had these in my kitchen, but I have about three sets of them. I only bought these because I needed the spoons and they came with the cups and the spoons. So I will use these in my gardening because once I use them out here, I just can't let myself use them in the kitchen again. All right, so this says, for established plants, sprinkle two tablespoons for every gallon or use a half a cup for a five gallon, which means I need two half cups, which is a whole cup. I do know that, y'all, I know fractions. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do this. By the way, this is a an organic, um, an organic fertilizer. It's a three four three, and it is for acid loving plants. So good on that. I will, I'm sure it has some stuff in here that helps with the acid. It says humic acids. I guess that helps with acid in the soil. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but I also will sprinkle some of this. Like I said, all of these planters have had plenty of this acid lover, this soil acidifier. Um, and I'll just add a little bit more now. And it, this one is mainly sulfur that makes the soil acidic, but that does take a little while to break down. I believe that this has some fast acting stuff in it, as well as the fertilizer. So now I'm just going to apply this to all of these planters. Now these are probably a little bit bigger than this one, but not too much. So I'll probably use the same one cup application. And this one, I might give it a cup and a half as well as, yeah. So that larger one, I might give a cup and a half. Is a three four three, so mulch, a heavy layer of mulch on it. So I'm setting that, moving that aside as I apply the fertilizer. So this container is a little bit larger, so I'm going to apply a cup and a half to this one. Actually, maybe even two cups.
Okay, fertilization is complete. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is add some of this soil acidifier, but I'm only adding it to my two powder blue blueberry plants and my premier blueberry plant. The reason why I'm only adding it to these three is because the other three planters have, um, I just potted these back in, I wanna say November, I actually have some footage, I took some footage of that, I just did it, turned into a video, I'll insert some of that here but they haven't been planted for very long. And when I potted them up, I added plenty of the soil acidifier to help them get established. So they don't need any yet. Whereas these have been potted for a while. So it's about time to kind of re-up them. I'll probably get these guys in probably about a month or so. I'll read the instructions. Add one tablespoon for every four inches of plant diameter. Why are they gonna make this hard for me? Um, let's see, one tablespoon for four inches, so that would be four tablespoons. I want to say four tablespoons is about a quarter of a cup. I'm going to go with that. And I have my quarter of a cup measure right here. I said I didn't measure stuff, but look at me measuring. Next step is to water everything in, and then after that, I'll be topping these two with a layer of mulch. But I'd rather kind of mix, um, water this in first before I add the mulch. Let me get these fertilizers out of the way so they don't accidentally get sprayed, because that would be terrible. Everything is done. These blueberry plants are ready for the season. As you can see from all these buds, we should get a really great fruit set on these plants, even the new ones that I just got back in November. I have not decided where exactly to put these planters this season. I am doing a lot of work to the yard right now, as you can tell from the state of it. So I'm still figuring things out, but I do want them somewhere where they're pretty close together. Of course, for poll pollination purpose purposes, 
I want them to be near to their pollinizers because of course that's gonna help with fruit set and getting a large crop. But for now, I'm gonna leave these guys right here. Well, actually I'll probably slide them by because I need to get through this kind of an aisle. Um, but I'm gonna leave them here for now and yeah, figure that out as I'm fixing up the yard. Okay, so it has been about two weeks since I fertilized and potted up my blueberries. And here is what they're looking like. They have leafed out quite a bit in those 14 days. And the blooms are really starting to open on some of them. I actually see little blueberries forming. So we're going to get a closer look. Okay. So here's the powder blue, one of the powder blue plants that I potted up. Get this to focus. Yeah, lots of blooms and also little berries starting to form. It's the other powder blue. Here is the premier plant. Looks great. Still leafing out, still some leaves forming, but definitely coming along. Here is one of the Titans. This one only has a couple blooms on it, which is fine. I just got this plant. So I wasn't expecting production this season. So if I get one or two berries, great. If I don't get any, that's okay too. So we can get this to focus in. Here we go. Here is the planter where I have two different plants growing. The Ochlocone and the Vernon. This, this Ochlocone has a ton of blooms on it. And for a plant I just got over the fall, kind of pleasantly surprised. Since it's in a container, I'm gonna let it fruit. Get it to focus. Go. And the Vernon has a few as well. And then here's the other Titan. Also. And this one has a lot more blooms than the other Titan. And these are all rabbit eye, so they can all be pollinizers for each other. But yeah, so here's how they're doing. They're doing great. They are ready to be very healthy and productive. And I did, before the blooms opened up, I did hit these with a neem oil spray, a dormant spray, just to help Board off any disease and you know insect or pest issues but I just kind of did that as like a pre thing and I wanted to do it before it's good to do sprays and everything even organic ones that are mostly safe it's better to do them before the blooms open so that you don't have any chance of harming the bees but aren't these beautiful y'all So I have about 47 other garden chores I need to take care of today before it gets dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful and provided you some knowledge <laughs> about how to take care of your blueberry plants or maybe encourage you to get some. They're actually pretty easy to take care of. These that I had all summer, all I did was water them really and I fertilized them maybe once and they were good to go. So as long as you provide them the right soil that they need and water them regularly and give them a nice home, then they're going to be perfectly fine. So I recommend taking on some blueberries, even if you need to grow them in containers like I do. 
go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you will find out about all the great videos that I have coming. It is gardening season, y'all, so there's lots on the horizon. And of course, it helps this video to get out to more gardeners who would like to see this content and helps me to grow my channel, which I would greatly appreciate. So until I see you guys again, have a great one. Bye.